Huh? Hey, before we had all these uh, clouds and, and rain and everything roll back into the picture, uh, we had some northern lights happen in. We did, not you too know. Far away. Uh, we had a viewer, Jose, he's a photographer out on the west side of Portland, captured the shot uh, from his house. I think he uh, stayed up late just to capture this really oh, early wow. in the morning. But look at that green glow uh, off in the distance there above the houses. So that is uh, a look at the Aurora Borealis or the northern lights. And apparently we had a stronger push of uh, a, a geostorm here. So a strong presence of these lights and in some of the breaks in the clouds overnight he was able to capture that so thank you Jose for sharing the shot here awesome to see it from our area usually you have to go to a very dark spot around the state maybe out in the forest to see some of these uh, these colors but an awesome shot and if you ever want to share your weather photos you can just take a picture of this scan it and it'll send you right to our website at coin.com you can share your weather photos with us again thank you Jose for sending that in uh, here is a look at Portland now of course we got the clouds in place. The raindrops on our weather cameras. We are pretty cold to start this morning and with that we have a chance for a few pockets of some mixed showers this morning. 38 degrees in Portland and a lot of spots in the valley are in the mid to upper 30s. Uh, again, seeing a lot of these showers falling as rain here in the valley. We're just a little too warm to see that snow out there, but in terms of sticking snow, I think we will steer clear of that this morning. Uh, mainly out towards the hilltops and up in the mountains is where we'll see any accumulating snow here within this next storm that is now over our region. But this morning, if you're sending the kiddos out to the bus the last day of school before spring break, uh, we'll see that chance for mixed showers. A chilly morning, too, so send them out with a heavy coat. Mid to upper 30s for our morning temperatures. And the afternoon, back under rain showers with a chance for possibly some hail if we get some heavy storms, too. So... Uh, a rainy day expected today. It's all because of this low system that rolled in. It's still sitting right off of Vancouver Island up north. This low just spitting away, but pushing in these showers here. So very showery around the Pacific Northwest. Rain out towards the coast, rain in the valley, and lots of mountain snow, and much colder air seeping in from the northwest, which has dropped our snow levels and giving us uh, it has given us that chance for some mixed showers this morning that may linger even into Saturday morning in our colder overnight hours. So we're still under this wintry pattern here, feeling more like winter time than spring time as we head away into these next few days. Now, quick peek out to uh, the coastline. There were some flashes of lightning, some weaker thunderstorms shifting on by this early morning. There's one just north of Astoria. So today we have the chance for thunderstorms in the area. Close look into Portland, showers pushing on by. No thunderstorms yet, but this afternoon we have that chance to see some of these storms developing even around the valley. So today, a bit unsettled. Right now we're tracking a chance for uh, maybe a few mixed showers out towards the West Hill. And again, we may see some light accumulations up in elevation. So really only the, the elevated neighborhoods around maybe a thousand feet or so and higher. This map here is not showing snow accumulation, just how much snow may fall. And again, I don't think much will stick or any will stick here in Portland. We'll mainly see wet roadways. But going even into Saturday, we have that chance to still see uh, some of that of those mixed showers here around the area and possibly light accumulations up in the hills. I do think out towards uh, battleground and areas of Cowlitz County, Clark County up in the foothills around a thousand feet, maybe closer to two plus inches of snowfall and out towards the gorge too. There could be some pockets there uh, in the foothills, maybe around a thousand feet that do see inches of snow. But again, much of Portland not expecting it to stick uh, if we see any snowfall these next few mornings, but we will be cold. Temperatures will hover in the mid thirties when those snow showers may pass on by here. Then we're back to rain showers throughout the afternoon. We could see some of those heavy downpours starting up maybe around lunchtime and beyond. We'll see a chance for thunderstorms here in Portland. Uh, going into our evening, still watching out for those heavy downpours and even under some of those heaviest showers, we could pull down that cold air near the surface. So in some of those downpours, we could see a mix of some rain, maybe even some snow and some hail. So a bit wacky this afternoon. If we get a real heavy shower passing over uh, our area here, we could see a mix of all three of those things. So watching out for some unsettled conditions tonight, still under some rain. If you'll be out on the town, maybe enjoying dinner out tonight, expect to see rain showers and heading into our Saturday morning, still another round of rain and snow mixed and some hilltop wet snowfall possible uh, in these showers that are still in the area. So we will continue with uh, these unsettled conditions for the next few days. Showers and storms for the coast today. We'll see highs only in the low to mid 40s, mid upper 40s here in Portland with those mixed showers across the 
the morning and then showers and storms for the afternoon. So keep the rain jacket on you. We'll stay chilly to these next few days, finally warming up as we head towards Monday and beyond. Take a look at that forecast next week, just in time for spring break too. We could see temperatures back in the upper 50s to about the 60s next week. Much better uh, for outdoor activities with partly sunny skies. So enjoy next week. We'll get through the cold this week with daytime highs today in the upper 40s. And again, be watchful of some hilltop snow heading into this morning and tomorrow morning. That's your forecast. We'll be right back.